Yes, God, Nessa girl. Did you see this last episode of Basketball Wives, honey? My is laid like Tasha Marbury weave bar, bitch. Incomplete. Hence why I'm wearing this hat. Baby, this episode of Basketball Wives gave me everything. Shawnee, Shawnee, baby. Marlon is a huge upgrade from Shaq, but I'm going to tell you something. I ain't never looked at his ass twice, but honey, he is fine as hell. I realized it when he was sitting on the edge of your bed putting on your earrings. Yes, God, honey. Go in and let her have Shawnee with her Tyler Perry Playboy friend. Child Shawnee, you better hold on to his ass. Because you know I'm known for fucking people husband like Laura Govan. Bitch. Sh uh, Tammy, I know last time I called you. <laughs> Child, I was so wrong for that Laura comment. Oh, well, honey, I don't make the news. I just report it. Anyway, close your legs to marry men. Tammy, Tammy, I know I called you ghetto fish, but you know what? I want to take that back. You crazy as bat shit, okay? The way you tried to go off on Ellen in that restaurant was completely uncalled for. Tammy, you got a few screws loose, a knife missing from the drawer. Uh, you just got a whole lot going on. Who the hell are you to try to police what somebody do with their hand? Okay? In their personal area. No guy. And the gag is, Evelyn, the one time in a restaurant when your ass need to be slanging bottles, okay, and popping bottles, you sitting up there trying to be cool, calm, and collected. No, God, honey, I would have picked up the biggest uh, Perrier bottle or Moet bottle and I would have slung the fuck out of that shit at Tammy. Tammy, sit your damn ass down and quiet as a skip. You didn't want people to judge you from your past, but bitch, you brought your past into your present and now it's going to dictate the way we introduce you in the future. You want to know something about Tammy Roman? This can go either right or it can go really wrong. No, God, Tammy, sit down. You got to understand why people introduce you the way they do. And quiet as it's kept, you know, the domestic violence situation with Evelyn is not funny. It's not, okay? But the same rules apply to Tammy. Evelyn... With the way you've acted in the past, it just really makes it very hard for people to be sympathetic to you as if, oh, you're just this victim. And no tea, no shade, the way you've been tearing up all throughout this season, you've actually changed my mind. And I really do think something that you were not ready for happened to you. I really do. And I'm sorry that that happened to you. However... From the outside looking in, mama, you got to understand that the general public and those around you are not going to sympathize the way you do. Because the same way y'all want to nail Tammy ass to the cross for her past, the same goes for you, honey. When the shit first broke, it was real hard for me to believe it. I felt like y'all was in that fight and I, I honestly felt like your ass probably deserved to be headbutted. No tea, no shade. It was not until tonight, until Evelyn started crying at that table... And she got up and walked. I said, you know what? This lady, she can't keep crying like this for no reason. And she's not that good of an actress. This shit is real. This shit is affecting her. And something really did happen that shook her at her core. But Evelyn, just like Tammy, honey, you got to take the bitter with the sweet. And you got to understand that your past actions make it very hard for people to be sympathetic to you. And it is what it is. That's your personal issue to handle, not everybody else's. Yeah, the situation in the car that happened is not funny. But, bitch, the jokes is, yes, God, honey, wear a helmet on a date. Um, Shut up for our head, but you, yes, God, the shit is funny. The shit is funny. And the jokes can, can survive independent of the incident. The shit is funny. just ain't got nothing to do with the incident. You just a small little reference. But, God, and is it me? But, Tammy, you need to do one or two things. I think Lyric over the age of 18 so I can talk about her like a grown person. You either need to give her some of your weave line, some of your weave from your weave line. You need to give her some of them hats you've been wearing or you need to cut her ass down to Tasha Marbury weave bar because since we met Lyric in jazz, they weave has never been on point. No God. Them people kids, that's all I'm going to say. But girl, basketball wise, was, it was giving me what I needed, honey. Let me just try. When they had went down to the sex shop, honey, Susie knew her way around them dicks. That's why her jaw tore up. Child cheese. Yeah, the man was punching her right in the back of her throat <laughs> with a ping ping. Go in and let her basketball wise. Y'all starting to teeter that line of contrived conversation just a little bit. 
Because that conversation with Tammy and her daughter over the nail polish at lunch seemed a little forced. And mind you, they never once ordered no water or ate no food. I caught that. But it's, 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 y'all maintain it. It's, it's okay. It ain't great. It'll hold me over the next episode. Anyway, that's the girl. Oh, excuse me. That Chinese ain't green with me. I'm finna go in here and, um, figure out something I could do with this damn hand. Wrap it up for the night. I'll call you later, girl. Bye.